Welcome back to deploying a smart contract with Python to the Robson Ethereum network. Previously, we installed the dependencies to use Web3 Python in Colab. We also built a simple Solidity smart contract on Remix. Now we're going to import the smart contract into Colab. So you have to take your Solidity file and upload it to Google Drive or at least upload it into the temporary storage here in the files tab then we can reference that Solidity file. So if you upload the file to Google Drive, then you have to import from google.colab the drive module and call drive.mount to connect to Google Drive. Okay, then you have to run this code cell and go through the prompts to connect to Google Drive. Make sure you connect to the same account where your Colab file is. Great, now I'm connected to Google Drive. So next up, I have to make a reference to where my contract exists on Google Drive. My contract I uploaded to the root Google Drive folder. So it is in slash content slash G drive slash my drive, which is the root folder. And then it was called simple number dot solidity. Okay, then we can read the solidity file. So we can use the open library or open function and pass in the contract path in and here contract underscore path and let's see contract underscore path and we can open it in read mode as a file and then we can get our contract file with file dot read so we can actually read the contents of the file can run this code cell. Okay, notice that also Google Drive is now under files because we mounted to it. Okay, so we can inspect the contract file. So the contract file contains all of our contents of the file. Okay, so you can print it out to see we have our Solidity code. Okay, awesome. So now that we have the file, we're going to compile it. So we have to take the file and compile it with the Solidity compiler. So for that we're going to be using compile standard which comes from the Solidity compiler which we recently we previously installed. We're going to import compile underscore standard. All right so then we can put that to use. You can call compile standard. For that we have to pass in here a an object. First, the language for the compilation, which is Solidity. Then the sources for the compilation, which is simple number dot Solidity. We also have to pass in the content of that file, which is what we just got from the contract file. So we have to pass that in for content. Okay, then we are going to pass in a settings key the value of an output selection. So for this output selection we're going to pass in a star key with a sub object and here we are going to pass in the ABI, the metadata, the evm.bytecode and the evm.source map. Right so that is going to allow us to set the settings for the compilation. Then as well we can pass in what version of Solidity do we want to use. We are using 0.8.12 so what Solidity compiler should we use to compile the code. The result will be our compiled Solidity. So we can run this code cell and let's see we just have to make sure that we pass in everything correctly. It's kind of easy to mix up the curly brackets here. Okay, so we have our contract file as the content. All right, so that is all correct. So we have compile standard with our language and our sources, which come from simple number dot solidity. Okay, the problem is we have to have a colon here, not a comma. So just be careful here about the details. You have to pass in your compile standard in a very specific format. Okay, then we can print out the compiled Solidity, okay, or just paste it out on Colab. You can see the contracts 
as well as the ABI. Okay, and you can see all of the data like the ABI, the metadata, the EVM bytecode, and the EVM source map. Okay, so we've been able to, to compile our Solidity code. Then we can save that. We can use with open and we can save our compiled simple number dot json in write mode as a file we can call json dot dump and we can take the compiled solidity and use that for the file so for this to work we do have to import json so i'm going to import the json library and then run the code cell so now we can save that JSON. It will actually appear here as compiled simple number dot JSON. So you can save that. Okay, so that is going to take our compiled solidity and just save it. So we save this this data, this object as JSON, which is the JavaScript object notation type. Awesome. Okay, now we have been able to compile our smart contract. So next step, our step is going to be to deploy the contract. So join me in our next lecture where we're going to deploy our smart contract. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.